Hey, welcome back, everyone, to another segment of Tech Tuesday on the Educational Lady Podcast. We'll be right back with today's tech expert. But first, we want to give a shout out to our podcast partners. We Coach, Vital Signs Wall of Fame, the Florida Coaches Coalition, and the Global Community of Women in High School Sports. You've heard me say many times, these are four great organizations. You should really add them to your network. And now don't hit that fast forward button. Stay with us for the next three minutes. We're going to give our sponsors a shout out. These are all companies that I used as an athletic director. You should be using them too. Here we go. We want to say thanks to Gipper for their support of the podcast. Gipper is the official social media graphic solution for the podcast. And if you go to Gipper.com, their team is going to help you start to create world-class marketing content for your school's social media channel. You should be celebrating your teams and promoting your athletes, and Gipper is a great way to do that. It's trusted by over 3,000 athletic programs across the country, and it's so easy, even I can do it. Go to Gipper.com, start creating world-class content on your school's social media channel. We also want to thank our good friends at Snap Raise. Are you tired of spending hours and hours with fundraisers that require too much time and lead to too little results? Stop right here and head over to snapraise.com slash EDAD. Snapraise is hands down the best fundraiser out there. We used it at my school with great success. Our coaches and parents just loved it. And what's more important, it works. At snapraise.com slash EDAD, you're going to find some other powerful tools like Snap Manage, Snap Store, and uh, one called Fan X, which allows you to create custom apps to better connect and engage with your community. Head over to snapraise.com slash EDAD. Check out their entire suite of products designed to help you do your job better. Also, new and existing customers are automatically entered into a $1,500 uh, prize for their next fundraiser. Check them out today. We also want to say thank you to Home Campus. Home Campus is the exclusive high school and state association platform for us. It's also your one-stop platform for things like schedules, student-athlete eligibility and clearance, and a whole lot more. As an athletic director, I used Home Campus every single day, and it was just great. You should be using it, too. All you have to do to get started is go to homecampus.com. That's homecampus.com. We'd like to thank Vital Signs Wall of Fame for their support. Go to their website, vitalsignswalloffame.com. Check out their interactive touchscreen video consoles. It's a great way to display your school record boards, your school's Hall of Fame, or simply showcase your school's proudest moments. Go to vitalsignswalloffame.com. Mention this podcast, you'll get a nice discount. vitalsignswalloffame.com. We also want to say thank you to Huddle. Go to Huddle.com and change the way you see the game. As a football coach, I used Huddle for years, but when I became an athletic director, I made sure our school was a Huddle school. And our coaches just loved the tools that Huddle provided that helped them coach our kids up to their highest level. Go to Huddle.com. See why we believe in sports and teams believe in Huddle. Join the 8 million users. Turn your school into a huddle school. We also want to say thanks to Hometown Ticketing, uh, the leading digital ticketing provider to schools and colleges. Go to hometownticketing.com. It's digital ticketing that offers more, more support, more security, more customization. Go to hometownticketing.com. Let their team show you how to make the best solution for online ticketing. We'd like to thank Sideline Interactive. Go to sidelineinteractive.com, schedule a live web demo, and see their scoreboards and their score tables in action. Probably one of the best purchases I ever made was our Sideline Interactive Indoor Score Table. Their products not only generate income for your department, they also create the ultimate game day experience for your student-athletes. Go to sidelineinteractive.com. Check out their products today. And we want to say thank you to Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack. Go to athleticsurveys.com. Uh, let them create a custom survey for you that lets you take the pulse of your players 
and your parents. Um, athletic directors already hear back from the complainers, the 5% that want to gripe about everything. Athletic surveys connect you with the 5%, but they also connect you with the 95% that supports your program. And that's a tremendously valuable tool to have when you're talking with a frustrated parent, your principal, or your school board. Go to athleticsurveys.com. It's affordable, it's easy, and the data you're going to collect is extremely valuable. Athleticsurveys.com. Check them out today. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Tech Tuesday on the Educational AD Podcast. We're going to Georgia today, actually pretty close to where I used to be an athletic director up in Florida's Panhandle. And we're going to be visiting with Philip Duplantis. He is the director of athletics at Thomas County Central High School. That's in southwest Georgia. Um, Phil Duplantis, welcome to Tech Tuesday. Thank you so much for having me. This is a wonderful opportunity, and I'm excited to be able to share what Huddle's doing and then uh, maybe get a little bit in there about our wonderful community. <laughs> oh, a absolutely. For new listeners, uh, every Tuesday, we do a Tech Tuesday segment where we have a, an athletic director come on uh, and share kind of a tech hack or a, a tech aspect that's helped their school. We also allow our sponsors to talk a little bit about some special features. And actually, we've got both today. You know, Phil's a longtime AD, also uh, a longtime Huddle user, as you've heard me mention many times. But uh, before we jump into the Huddle part, Phil, uh, let our listeners uh, know a little bit about your background. Uh, you know, what's uh, what's the origin story for Phil Duplantis? Well, um, I've been co I coached uh, primarily a football coach. I also did a little basketball and track for about 20 years and uh, I transitioned. I moved to Thomas County um, as a football coach and then I um, began to be the uh, the athletic director several years ago. And, um, you know, I coached a little bit in college. I played football in college. And, you know, my passion has always been just helping people, watching young people develop. And, you know, and that's why we do this. So. Oh, no, absolutely. I, I was just having a conversation with an AD uh, when I first started out. Um, you know, I'm teaching seven out of eight classes during a day. I was coaching four sports. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm thinking to myself, I'm getting paid to do this. You know, geez, we got a great job. Um, let's go and talk a little bit about huddle. Now, again, you're a football coach. You know, I was a football coach. That was my first exposure to huddle. Uh, how did you first get involved using huddle? Obviously, I'm going to guess it was as a football coach. Sure. You know, I mean, I came in in a time where we were still doing DVDs oh, yeah. and, all of, and all of our old breakdowns. And then huddle came on really quickly. And it spread from high school to middle school because at one time I was also a middle school coach. So we used huddle and then just what it's helped for the analytics side, all those extra, I mean, I, you know, you're talking about now saving, you could probably save 15, 20 hours a week, especially as a defensive coach on your breakdowns and what you're getting and what they give you is quality. You know, it's spot on whatever the algorithms they're using are wonderful and now, like, huddle is just a staple. You know, everybody knows that when you're in high school athletics, when you're in middle school athletics, doesn't matter what the sport, you are a part of the huddle team, and you're, gonna, and you're going to uh, be able to trade film and do it properly, and it's so much easier. You know, when I first got into this thing, we were driving tapes and DVDs to people halfway across the state of, the state of Georgia, and, man, now it's like you one click of the button and, and you can see everybody's. And then there's so much easier – you also get to know coaches, you know, you can yeah. communicate so much easier and you build those relationships and then you can reach out to people and, you you know, you have sounding boards for advice and what are you doing against this team and all that type of stuff. Yeah, everything you said, 100 percent true. Uh, you know, I still remember those days, you know, uh, and nights, you know, breaking down video, number one, but those long uh, drives on a Saturday after your game to exchange, uh, you know, tape with another coach. Um when we became a, a huddle school where I was the athletic director, I was initially a little bit concerned how the other coaches were going to like it. 
And it, it, it just 100%, uh, they loved it. They're going, boy, you've had this all this time in football and we didn't have it. Uh, so again, the huddle is great, but today we're actually going to talk about a, uh, a, a different aspect of, of the huddle experience, the streaming aspect. So talk a little bit about that, you know, pretend you're talking to somebody like me, you know, an old AD that's technology challenged, uh, and doesn't quite understand the whole thing. How did it come about for you and how are you utilizing the streaming features at your school? Well, okay, so we were trying to stream on our own several years ago. And, and you know, that's that's really difficult. We had some technological issues that that sometimes, it, you know, and, and our people do a phenomenal job. But there's always going to be hiccups in technology. And then <clears throat> there's several other huddle competitors that are doing the same thing where they're streaming. But the fact of the matter is huddle, huddle is a superior product. Um you look at revenue share. I mean, we're always interested in revenue as athletic directors. The revenue share with Huddle is greater. Um, and just, it's not, it's really user friendly. The tech support is phenomenal. If I call my Huddle guys, they are going to answer that time. It doesn't matter day, night, whatever. And they're going to fix the problem. Um, and then as far as streaming, it gives that fan base because, you know, we go play three hours from here and people want to watch the Yellow Jackets play. Well, they may not be able to get there. So then you you have that streaming service. And um, and I mean, it, to say it's worked well is probably an understatement, you know, and 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 I would I would advise anybody that is not using Huddle to look into it, because I'm going to tell you this. If I can do it, anybody can, you know, and the tech support people for Huddle are outstanding. Now, I'm going to tell you, we've got a great tech team, too, here, and they work side by side with Huddle. You know, like, let's say we have an issue with a camera, you know, they're going to give me a new camera within five days. And then, you know, you know, so I think the availability and the user friendliness of the platform is the is the big are the big pluses. And also. It's not huddle just isn't for football. We buy the entire package from huddle. Every one of our sports uses huddle. And I think we've got 24 sports at the high school right now. And, um, and they all use huddle. And, you know, once you get that big package, your amount of data and memory and everything is as much as you need, you know, and then we're, we're looking to branch out into streaming other games as well. You know, football has been a big draw, of course, um, and I think another thing that uh, that Huddle does on the streaming side is they allow you to do your own. Uh, we can get sponsorships, we can get commercials, we can do all that, and we get all, we get the money. You know, it's not like we have to share. They are saying you have to you have to use these people, and so we've been able to raise money for people that you know uh, maybe not going to the game, but they want somebody to support you know a local gas station or, or, or an insurance or whatever. And it's, and I mean, it is given a boost to our revenue that, that we wouldn't have had three or four years ago. And, and huddle came on with this new system right in the right time for me, because we're trying to make some big jumps within our athletic department to get it up to where we're competitive with anybody in the country. And that's what we're trying to do with, the, with this streaming and it's worked extremely well. Yeah, I can certainly echo the um, um, how well the uh, the huddle staff uh, and the contacts work. You know, just very quick, very easy to work with. Um, you talked about fan base. Um, this is obviously you know something that's new in the last couple of years. You know, from a high school level, what's some of the and we're going to get into the more nuts and bolts of of the streaming. But what are some of the comments that you have gotten back? from parents or community members or even the sponsors that you mentioned uh, about the, their experience in watching games through the streaming platform? Well, uh, it's, it's overall been positive. You know, sometimes when you're at an away game, you're trying to find the best signal because they may not have, you know, we have ground in um, internet connections at our school, but at some places you don't. So you got to make sure you've got the right hotspot but overall, it's been really positive because you've got people literally 
that are halfway across the country and they look at us and say, wow, the Jackets are 4-0 and in football. I want to check them out. And not only do they get to see their hometown team, you know, or grandparents or aunts and uncles or anybody in the country can watch us. And, you know, Huddle, uh, I, I forgot to mention this earlier, they did a special where they streamed our game uh, versus our rival Thomasville High School throughout the entire United States. And uh, we were the first high school to be able to, to do that. And just to have that opportunity to have a, not just a regional connection, but a nationwide connection so people can see the things that we're doing over here. And maybe we can help somebody out in the long run. Like, you know, uh, uh, if, if we're doing this, you can do it. And I think that that's, that's the overall perspective is like, if we're doing this, you can do it too. And you can do it in a way that's uh, user-friendly, um, that's easy to understand, you know, we, and, and, um, and that's beneficial to everybody within your organization. Let's go ahead and again, you and I talked a little bit before we came on and I, I'm probably a few years older than you, but I think we're maybe cut from the same cloth, you know, uh, technology and tech is not our, our number one, uh, you know, skill set. Um, for that athletic director out there that's listening and maybe a little hesitant about dipping the toe in the water. Um, what's, how does it all happen? Obviously you're going to get in touch with your huddle rep, but, how do they get it set up at their school? Well, it's you contact them, okay? Then they're going to ask you, you know, do you want cameras? Do you want your this the base exchange um, program with the film? And what we've noticed is the way they built the platform out, it just works out better to do everything that you possibly can with them because you're on one platform, you know? And, um, and then they're doing some other stuff you know, with ticket sales and with other things that are going to, we're going to, it's going to be a one shop, uh, one stop shopping, you know, and, and that, and I think that's important to people instead of going to six different ways, you do that. But, and then it's real, it's not really hard. You know, they send you, you, you ask them what you want, they send you a contract. And then next thing you know, they're shipping stuff. You get your, you get your tech people to install whatever, and everything they do is really, it, it's just simple. And I can, and I, I can promise you it is, you know, because I've worked with, with Huddle now, you know, for several years and it's always um, been easy to get it, you know, whether it's tech stuff or support. I mean, they, you know, if you call them on a Friday night at nine o'clock and you're having issues, they're going to solve it. And you can't say that about very many other companies. No, and that's exactly the same experience that we had uh, at my school when we made that decision to become a huddle school, not just football, but for all the sports. Their techs came in. Actually, we had their tech people do it. They installed the cameras in the gym, on the field, you know, the the whole software program. The each one of our coaches, volleyball, boys and girls basketball, soccer, they all had a different person from huddle contact them directly. It was their go-to person to get the schedules uploaded, to get the games put in. I would, I'd love to go out in the gym and watch my basketball coach, you know, using his cell phone to uh, program. <laughs> you know, hey, I'm, I, I want to, uh, I want to record this uh, practice now. Uh, but you're absolutely right. They are so easy to work with. And it's, it was such a great tool uh, addition for our program. Sounds like it's been the same for you. Um, Phil, uh, if one of our listeners wanted to reach out, uh, and talk to, you know, a real AD that's using the program, how do they get a hold of you? Okay. Well, I would say the best thing to do is just email me and my email is P D U P L A N T I S at T C jackets.net. Okay, and my name is Philip Duplantis. Do not hesitate to call. You know, I mean, this is a this this coaching business is a fraternity, and we want to be able to help as many people as we possibly can. If you, if I can't figure it out, I'll give you my cell phone because you know you know as ads we don't get to be in our office very much, and uh, and so you know I can I can make a call, I can help you, I can connect you with the huddle people, whatever is necessary to allow your school for success and. I'll tell you something else. We began with just two, we, with just two cameras, right? Now, over the last two years, we've added another two and we're probably going to add uh, another two next year too, because it's just, it's been so good for our over, because you have a stable camera, 
you know exactly what you're going to get. You know exactly the product and the resolution is excellent so that you can see those things rather than having to worry about somebody holding up a, a iPod, it's shaky or something like that. You know, so it's just Huddle has been the total package for us. And it's helped us, obviously, you know, in, in planning, right? I mean, when you can film every single snap or every single transition, you know, or every single volleyball practice, you're going to pick up stuff that you normally wouldn't pick up. And you're going to be able to see, okay, what is this person doing? And what do we have to change or have to just say, hey, great job about on a regular basis to make your your entire athletic department move forward? Well, it, it sounds like you're really, uh, you know, going strong with the program. Uh, I want to ask you another question. You mentioned that Huddle allows you to go out and get your own sponsors for the streaming games. Um, how does that happen? Uh, are you doing that? Are the coaches doing that? And and what type of sponsors are you getting? Uh, you know, you mentioned you're kind of a, a quintessential small town there. So uh, how does that all work? Well, it, it's kind of a combination you know, um, when you're in a small town and, and sports are important, sometimes people come to us, but we've got people in our, in our technology department that really just kind of take it and run with it for us. And at the beginning of the season, they came to us and they say, Hey, we have seven people that are wanting to do it because obviously every, we are a close knit community. So, you know, really quickly, you're going to have people that are interested. You know, uh, we do gas stations and law firms and insurance and, and banks and, and, you know, and restaurants. I mean, of course, restaurants are huge, right? Cause everybody wants a place to go eat on Friday night. And, um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's not one thing I think it's, and I, I think we're very lucky where we are. We're very blessed because of the fact that it's such a close knit community, but I, we, and, and sometimes I will, somebody will call me about it and then I send it to our team and then they'll, they, they basically, they do the basic graphics where, the company will do the graphics. They'll send it in. And then, then it's up on the screen. <laughs> you know, it's, it's just that simple. And if they want a commercial put on, we, you know, you can do that. It, it's the, the, the options are endless. And I think it's as we see this thing growing, it's just going to help us in so many ways to not only be able to get businesses notification because the streaming numbers are going to continue to go up. You know, we know that it's going to get more and more popular. So you're really helping not only your fan base and your athletes and your coaches, but then you're letting the community know that, hey, this is a this is a viable person who's trying to support our kids. And, and we think that you should try to support them as well. Yeah, you bring up a good point. You know, the the banner ads, you know, imagine you're watching a game on ESPN or Fox or whoever and you see those banners at the bottom. You can do that with an unlimited number of sponsors. You can also go to that restaurant and say, how would you like to be the sponsor of this week's game or of all of our games? And you set the price for that as an athletic director, just tremendous uh, revenue opportunity. And as Phil mentioned, you know, I don't know of an AD in America that's not looking for another uh, revenue source. Uh, Phil, one more time, if one of our listeners wanted to reach out, pick your brain a little bit more, how do they get in touch with you? Um, well, again, my name is Philip Duplantis. That's with one, that's with one L P H I L I P and Duplantis D U P L A N T I S. And it's P Duplantis at tcjackets.net. Or if I said anything too fast, just go to Thomas County schools and go to Thomas County central high school and look me up, and my my email will be right on the website that you can uh, contact me. Okay. Well, Phil, thanks so much for sharing with our listeners today on Tech Tuesday. All the best with the, the rest of the fall sports season, and uh, winter's going to be here pretty soon. But uh, uh, keep on uh, doing all the great things you're doing there for your high school and your student-athletes. Thank you, sir, and go Jackets. <laughs> go Jackets. For our listeners, uh, we do this every single week. And we also upload the Zoom recordings of these interviews to the Educational AD Podcast YouTube channel. Of course, we appreciate you listening. Come back next Tuesday for another great tech tip and just about every day for new content on the Educational AD Podcast. We'll see you next time.